Greetings, me boys, and welcome to a most fortuitous episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel AI. This episode is for the dueling engineers, the one who is following the journey of YT Dan and the AI. Today, we have a treacherous report of joy. For today, our calculations were correct. In the live stream, we presented a thesis. A thesis in which victory in terms of the win rate must be measured. YT Dan predicted a win rate of exactly 50%. And this is what we received, but in hilarious measure. But we did not risk the biscuit in official ranked play. No, 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 not today. We went into a treacherous dungeon known as casual. And let me tell you, duelists do not understand casual. All right, my boys. So since we had a 50% win rate, I'm going to start off by going with the L's. Let's just open with the L's first. And some of these L's are pretty hilarious. Now, as you can see, we are currently on distribution. And we're playing against you, Bell. Now, this was the very first duel, and I will admit, I was in quite the high spirits. And in these high spirits, I was willing to see this duel through end to end. I had patience. I lost the coin toss, so I had to go second. And I felt disgusted playing my go first deck. Forced to go second. Trapped in the minds of an unoptimized deck. But we do what we do. Even though our hand is perfect, our combo perfect. And if we went first, we would probably go bananas and none of this would be happening. We still gave this player his due. Speed it up over there. For science. Speed it up. We're just gonna get this, let this guy finish cooking. YT editor. After 10,000 years, he ended his turn. It's so frustrating when you don't have a quote unquote, go second deck. Check out those Gladiator Beast videos if you wanna know the true power of the distribution. But I digress. Now. Let us begin. I draw into the ash I should have opened with. Disgusted. We have called by the grave. Mm, disgusted. And now we just got to play through this deck. So I'm going to play through this guy. Now, it's clearly this person is someone who is well practiced, but maybe not, you know, as confident and ranked. So let's see how he fares. I decided to give him my full powers. So I gave him Ash as a sacrifice, as bait, because if it was Max C, I was just gonna, um, um, how do you, how do we say this in the world of the science, uh, um, scoop. And, um, since it wasn't Max C, I'm free to use Call by the Grave on this card. So I'm going to push him and, um, we'll see what happens here. So called by the Grave on this card we don't have to worry about it or any of its shenanigans this turn and then we're going to of course get our effect to go through and then we're going to get to draw a card and a lot goes on our draw so we draw something that we can drop which is good he activates this and pops our card fine getting rid of this but as you know with any bell player this thing is coming back and that's not good for this deck so again i i'm I, i'm giving him the honor of my blade here i'm i am playing into this fully and as you know, the L is coming, my boy. The L is coming. But I'm, I'm letting you know that I gave this the full science try. Full science. Full science. Not half science. Not half life. Full life. <laughs> so we initiate the combo through an, an elaborate uh, line of play. 
primarily I was trying to test out if he had any type of ash or anything else, and he didn't. So we were basically able to play through and get our uh, field set up. We got our uh, Labyrinth Shuttle Wall out. This is the first person I'm playing this against, and this is how I have to play it. I, I remember the AI's results said 60% win rate against this deck. I was like, hell no. <laughs> he said, but if I can go first, it's a 60% win rate. So I, I said 50-50 if I can be lucky enough to win the coin toss. Maybe if I got all the right stuff. But not today. <laughs> so we went ahead and then beat... He steals our monster. He steals his soul. Now, funny enough, I should have went into a different monster. I was kind of on my mindset of playing like the stuff. I was I was thinking that I was gonna go into. Uh, I mean, I should have went into like like maybe not that, but uh, maybe like the other one. I think you can like turn their attack to zero or something, but. Like, what's that really gonna do? Actually, no, that was perfect what I did. <laughs> but then it gives you the effect of summoning a card. I thought I would never get a chance to use that. I thought I would be long dead before that effect resolves. But uh, then he brings this guy out. I'm like, you animal. So upset he did that. So then we do the flag, Nemesis flag play, search the deck. Then he does this, he's, he's got the pop. I'm like, oh, sweet Jesus. I'm like, good Lord. Like, at this stage, I'm like, come on. Like, look, what's, what's, this is for science. This is supposed to be an exhibition. <laughs> this man's going really hard. So I decide to keep playing. And then I search the deck with Nemesis Flag. Now, I don't have any more resources to summon this one. So I'm just kind of done here. So I go into SP Little Knight and I end my turn just now. It was funny but when I was going to end my turn, it was so much delay here. He was so confused. Like, what am I going to do? This SP Little Knight against this guy. He's going to do the thing. Should I do the thing? Do I have to do the thing? He was like really debating it. I'm like, you got to do the thing. So he does the thing and I activate the effect. But what's funny about this, I love this scoop. If you didn't know that this existed. If you ever got a scoop, okay? And this is from the book of science, all right? If you ever got a scoop, my boy, and, and you gotta leave the game, if you do it when cards leave the field or your opponent's cards are on your side of the field, <laughs> I like to laugh and say, you'll never get it back because, you know, <laughs> I the game is over. But, uh, you know, he's not getting it back. <laughs> Science! All right, here we go for our next round of punishment. Look at this. Now, first off, I'm going to say, this is when I made my first scientific observation. I decided to throw this card out and open up my wallet, use the mighty credit card. Good thing we're funded by the subscribers with their likes, their subscriptions, even the super chats, even the memberships. Good thing we're funded here on this channel. That's the reason why I dumped this card and decided to go with multiple copies of A Hero Lives. And Fusion Deployment. But I ain't that funded, I only got one extra. So I got rid of this one and added the hero lives. Let's continue. Because of these match specifically. I activate the spell. I also didn't comment on this. I'm pretty disgusted about opening with two ash. Seeing the, the way that the deck is built and the way that the distribution is. We know that it's a high probability that we're only gonna open with one or none. But it's crazy to open with two ash on your second game ever. I'm just saying that's highly unlikely. What AI put that up there, put that up there. What is the probability of drawing two ash in the opening hand on the first turn? Use the hypergeometric distribution to tell us now. Konami, you son of a. Let's continue. 
Now I got PTSD. Now I remember doing this thinking I was like, <laughs> now you're going to scoop because this is casual and this has become a waste of your time. That's what I thought. I was wrong. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping he'd say, I'm done, dog. I'm going to leave, dog. That's what I was hoping for. That's not what happened. So I go ahead and, and do the weakest play ever. Wah, 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 wah. Hindsight, I should have win the SP. But uh, not like, you know, I was thinking he probably just have some, some, you know, some whack starter. And he activates this card and adds a card to his hand. And I'm like, oh, double resignator? You added that to your hand? I'm like, well, if you normal summon something like that, I can definitely cook it with something like this. But then he does this. I normal summon and search my deck for opening the spirit gates. And I was like, yeah, okay, buddy. Good job. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> In the midst of recording, the channel is growing. If that's not a signal to subscribe, I don't know what is. And now, so as you can see, the distribution has not been kind. Punished twice and forced to go second. Mm -mm. Let's see what happens here for the science. I summon Alistair the Invoker, Ash. Ash the Alistair the Invoker. His turn should be over and also his life points. This should be the end of him right here. You should, no more no more gameplay for him. What? He continues to play? That's impossible. <laughs> so then he activates the Dear Servant. <laughs> then I begin to cry. <laughs> Anytime somebody activates the deer server, you want to cry. Then it drops your dolls. He searches schism. I'm like, boy, I ain't playing Shadal schism invoked in casual. <laughs> ah, now that the L's have been fully digested, we can go to the victory side of 50 50. And today, our first victory, I have won the coin toss. <laughs> and looks like the deck is in distribution, but not fully in our favor. So I'll begin it here. So I activate the effect and I'm trying to bait out cards. No response, instant scoop. <laughs> this man didn't want to face the labyrinth, not want to be bothered, annoyance factor. That is a dub for the Labyrinth deck. Check it up. And now I've got to go first again. I have won the coin toss. And I want to point out that we have not only won the coin toss, but not only did we win the coin toss, we drew optimally for the first time. And it's pretty, pretty, pretty beautiful. It's pretty beautiful. Also, I did add one more dark element because in that last duel, I, when one of those games I lost, I realized if I was running three dark element, then that'd be pretty good. But so I added a third dark element. All right, let's go. Summon Prisma, use the effect, copy the boy, activate the labyrinth, special the green and go. Nobody's got Ash or Maxi. Activate the effect, add the card, set the card, pass. So like I told you before, if you can't put another monster on the field, this is all you got because I didn't fully, um, at this stage, uh, I didn't get any Nemesis cards, but we have Nemesis in here, but we just did not draw any Nemesis cards or any support. We actually drew the Garnet engine piece. But again, this is one of those times where I want to say I don't like saying Garnet, but in this mode, it's definitely a Garnet. Whitey Dan, you might be incorrect on this. But anyway, 
Let us continue. So he activates this card, and you know I got to pop. So it's like, should I pop this? I'm like, no. Give me a normal summon, please. He searches this, and he normal summons it. He activates the spell, sends it to the grave. He normal summons, activates the effect, and brings it back. Now, this card's effect is negated when it's brought back. But funny enough, if you remember the stream from earlier this week, a little bit of PTSD moment flowed through me. A little bit of flashback, some, you can see into the future, took me back. And I remembered how that one dude was going bananas with the rank five synchro stuff. And I thought, hmm, if I pop this card right here, if I use my effect, this guy would probably have to end his turn. And he ended his turn. I was so surprised. So then we continue. Draw. I'm like, boy, you about to get cooked. I'm like, no. No. My dueling engineers is the final duel. An actual honorable duel. It ended as it began. With full battle. Now, finally. Finally, we get to go first and play the game out fully. But unfortunately, we didn't draw the correct two cards. The correct two cards to go off, to go off. So now we can only go on in a minimal sense. So let's, so let's go, let's go, let's do this. So we begin by paying half of our life points. Ash. Now that was violent. I'm not gonna, you know, hey, hey. This was offensive, not gonna lie. Pretty upset about that. However, it's okay, because we do have one in hand and he can't ash this one. You know what I'm saying? But we did give him 4,000 of those things and that's a lot. So fusion deployment, bring forth the greed. Then, turn brown, Nani. Then, search impermanence. It's supposed to be for science. You're trying really hard. All right. So, impermanence. Negate. Have to, I have to end my turn. Now, it's on him. Now, it's voiceless voice, funny. He uses this card to search for low. I'm like, no. <laughs> if you ain't got low, I'm not gonna let you go get it. <laughs> you silly Billy. We have done the research. We know in the voiceless voice that you need to get low. Swing low, sweet cherry eye. So he did Ash, and guess what? He didn't have the cash, man. They never have the ash cash. That means they don't have the extender. So you had to end this turn. You, 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 you can't believe the look on my face. Ash was kind of like this. It's kind of like, yeah. All right. Hey, hey, Jay Guardian of Thunder and Win. You did it. You made it to turn endo. Let's go. I'm like, hey, your boy, you about to get cooked. Da -da. And look who it is. <laughs> Looks like I've got the ash cash now. <sighs> Let us begin. I searched the deck. Impermanence. You will pay for your misdeeds and receive the punishment of the dark element. All right. So he hits the negate, which is disgusting. Okay. Negate. Okay. And now this whole zone is disgusting. We summon forth the nemesis, send it back. Nemesis add. We got the condor. Link to the sheep. 
Link to the sheep. All right. Now that we have our sheep. Now listen. Now that we have our sheep. Now that Dolly, the clone sheep, has been brought forth by the power of AI through Yu-Gi-Oh. We can now fusion summon a monster using the powers of the Dark Element. And now, when the Dark Element brings forth our Gate Guardian, we can bring forth a Nemesis. Hooray! Nemesis Summon. Nice. Would you look at this? We're adding Suiji. And guess what? We have another summon. And guess what? We have this. Fusion Summon. I love that here in the YT Dad Lab, we have a speciality for our fusion summons that do not fusion summon. <laughs> now, the time has come to clap some anime cheeks. You know why? Because this duel seals succinctly our hypothesis. A 50-50% win rate. And guess what? 8150 of those things. I think them life points looking kinda low. Let's go. So we're gonna get all the juice from these attacks. But you know who's gonna get the last one off of that. You know who's gonna get him a piece. The one who's been combined. The one who has never been summoned. And this duel can now be seen by the world. Go, Mr. Guardian. Claim victory in the lab. Nani, what are you doing outside of the labyrinth? Ooh. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that review of the deck, the report, the 99% distribution. I have fallen in love with this deck. I've actually begun to really enjoy playing it. So I decided to invest in it a little bit. I decided to get another a Hero Lives. And also I added a third uh, Dark Element. But also I think what's really good about this deck um, pretty much is the Nemesis engine. So I added another red Nemesis. And I think that we definitely should focus more within the nemesis engine and and try to flesh that out might drop horus altogether because you know even though horus is great and powerful i think that there's more in the nemesis engine so let me know what archetypes could potentially synchronize with our gate guardian nemesis deck it could be the nemesis labyrinth uh yeah this yeah we we're gonna call it the nemesis labyrinth deck but um i appreciate y'all for checking out this video my boys if you want more information on it please check out my ted talk um that i did um, about using the hypergeometric distribution and creating this deck using ai this deck was created 100 percent by the ai and i added in a few little of my own uh proclivities but uh basically you know i was able to figure out the strategy by checking out the cards that the ai recommended so you know check out that video my boy so you can get a full understanding of what i was talking about there but uh i'll catch y'all in the next one